What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Q. I'm here with a video or the beginning video of a series uh, that I want to start on that's dealing with Kali Purple, uh, specifically the implementation that Offensive Security, the folks behind Kali Linux uh, and developers of Kali Purple, uh, documentation they put out on how to actually deploy or suggested deployment of a virtual security operations center. They're known, known as the, the ultimate sock in a box. Um, for those who are not aware, uh, Kali Linux been around for 10 years, and I believe it was la a fourth quarter of last year, 2022, or maybe even begin or around the beginning quarter of this year, the first quarter of this year. Uh, Offensive Security published a new version of Kali or a new distribution of Kali Linux called Kali Purple, centered around. Uh, blue, uh, cyber security, def cyber se defense. Uh, those of us who are familiar with Kali Linux usually associate that with offensive, uh, sec uh, from the offensive side of uh, cyber security, penetration testing, and the like. Uh, this one has got more defensive tools uh, in it. I'm actually bring up a, uh, a page I'm looking at here. This was the press release. Uh, from it looks like March of 2023, uh, talking about some of the uh, the new the differences or the inclusions in Kali Purple, and there were some Python changes along with the, uh, with Kali, with Kali Linux 23.1 anyway, but uh, Kali Purple itself definitely uh, something that's actually worth looking at for blue teamers. Um, and then any links that I actually have here, I will include those in the in my description down below below the video um, and if I look here I have another link here that talks about the documentation specific to Kali Purple uh, kind of an introduction to the um, distribution itself some of the inclusions although there are some things I've been playing with it for a little bit some of these things here like they talk about different defensive tools those are tools that with the suggested SOC solution you can install. They do not necessarily come with Kali Purple, but it's still you can integrate those into your uh, deployment of a, a security operations center based on the SOC uh, on the Kali Purple distribution. Um, as they've taught reference here, they put out a reference architecture for the ultimate SOC in a box, uh, perfect for learning, practicing analysis, threat hunting, and all the other things you see here. Um, I want to point out that when we before we get to the diagram itself on the SOC deployment, the nodes that they actually have. First off, it, they'll show the doc. The diagram itself has several virtual machines that are based on a Proxmox uh, 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 hypervisor. Uh, these virtual machines, or the majority of the virtual machines, are actually they're they're a lot designed to be aligned with different domains of the NIST cybersecurity framework. Um, as we can see here, we have five different domains that are identified for the cybersecurity framework here. We have identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. And for this deployment, we'll be, we'll be concerning ourselves with, three out with four out of the five, identify, protect, detect, and respond. Um, let's take a look at the diagram itself. Again, this is put out by Offensive Security as a suggested deployment. And as we see on this diagram, I can zoom in here. First off, before I zoom in, we have this purple box up here. All of the purple boxes are considered our different virtual machines. We have one here named Kali Perly. We have one Byzantium or Byzantium, uh, Kali Violet, Kali Purple. I know I'm zoomed out. Kali, Kali Eminence. And at the bottom here, we have Kali Heliotrope. Now, if I zoom out just slightly to see if I can get all this in here, or yeah, this is pretty good. Um, these virtual machines, based on what I can gather by examining this diagram, this is not based on anything that's written by, by as of today, December 26, 2023, uh, by Offensive Security. Uh, this virtual machine up here, the Kali Perly, is pretty much meant to be a victim machine. This is what is meant to be attacked as well as being monitored. 
so that you know from a blue team perspective you can see what the attack that uh, occurs on it looks like that kind of thing and did and be able to understand what kind of what kind of behavior we might see what kind of artifacts might be generated that kind of thing um, here at the I'm skipping down to the bottom uh, specific for, for a reason because this virtual machine here Kali heliotrope has actually got two different connections even though we have arrows pointing in there it has a connection to the LAN and it has a connection that comes over to the WAN there are there's a WAN network that is de uh, that's, uh, deployed here a DMZ network and a LAN network and there are some optional what look like other networks like a wireless network SSID here and SSID there um, that's if you want to deploy those a third one over here uh, but from analyzing the documentation we'll go over in just a sec um, or actually I'll, I'll be it'll probably be covered in later in the next video uh, again this is a video series I want to do um, there are th only three actual uh, virtual networks that are created and for the bottom to be connected to two this guy I've my analysis is this is meant to be both the attack and the def the, the blue team um, analyst workstation if you will so this is meant to launch an attack at Kali Pearly and then you can use this to access the services that are provided on the remaining nodes to look and see what that attack looks like when detected by uh, the tools that you have deployed uh, speaking of those other nodes the main nodes these are the th these are the four that actually I will actually deploy in my video series are the Byzantium firewall that's what this this node here is the firewall this node uh, Kali Violet has open cyber threat intelligence and uh, green bone vulnerability management what used to be open uh, vulnerability scanner uh, running on it the Kali purple which is going to, you'll see is the you'll kind of see is the heart of the uh, enclave this is our running our elastic stack as our seam and then we have Kali eminence which is basically kind of set up like a um, like a sensor would be um, there are I say kind of like a sensor mainly because this the way they've deployed this it only has one interface and it's not necessarily listening on any interfaces uh, so it's kind of meant like this whole enclave is meant to be a static sock I'll talk about some differences on how my deployment is going to be or what mine's going to be compared to what they've uh, designed in another video but as we can see on Kali eminence they're running a uh, this is a um, a rolled suite if you will uh, Malcolm uh, maintained by Idaho National Labs um, it's docker based and is within it it runs several different docker containers uh, Archimede full packet capture you have Zeek and IDS IPS or IDS excuse me uh, behavioral based heuristics based um, we have cyber chef a Swiss Army knife of, of, of an application that can allow you to analyze artifacts that you can gather from either uh, network uh, packet capture or other lo other uh, sources open search is the main indexing en engine for this suite of tools uh, specifically for Zeek and Archimy uh, as opposed to Elasticsearch which is actually under the uh, the uh, under the hood for Kali Purple and we have Suricata running here you may have noticed that Suricata is both running on the uh, Kali Eminence and the firewall or actually you may not have noticed because I hadn't mentioned it earlier but the firewall is running uh, OpenSense as its firewall application and Suricata running on it uh, for IDS IPS Unbound DNS unbound, uh, unbound DNS Squid Proxy for a web proxy and also Nginx for a reverse proxy it also has a web application firewall which they annotate here but they don't give us instructions on how to actually deploy that if you have your own ways of being able to do so feel free I'm learning as I go um, one quick thing I will point out is these nodes these interior nodes this firewall and these three here are all I mentioned there are nodes that are aligned with the NIST cybersecurity framework the firewall is aligned with the protect function Kali violet is is the identify function Kali purple the detect function and Kali eminence is respond 
So that's how th that's what the this di documentation actually covers. So we'll at the um, at my next video I will actually be talking about uh, how I actually plan on deploying this and the difference. Be I put together some documentation uh, that will cover what my deployment would look like and I will be uh, highlighting the next video will primarily be highlighting the differences between the deployment here um, that offensive security put out and this is just a diagram I haven't talked about the actual step-by-step uh, -step instructions they provide but that'll be in the next video also uh, one thing I will one difference I will point out is that this deployment that they have the instructions are written for a Proxmox environment I'm running vSphere so that's going to be one of the main things that's going to be different uh, from my environment, my deployment implementation than what they have written here. Outside of building the virtual machines, um, and one other uh, change that I will I will highlight what it uh, when when I get to that video, every other step that I will do can be followed by anyone who's utilizing Proxmox or any other uh, hypervisor that you decide to choose. But in a nutshell, that's what this video was. We were just kind of introducing you to the uh, Kali Purple, uh, what Offensive Security put out, and it's their implementation of the SOC, at least a, a network overview. Uh, hopefully you'll join me on my next video where we dive into the differences between my deployment and what is uh, written and what is suggested by uh, Offensive Security. If you're liking the content that I'm actually putting out, Please feel free to like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, so you can see some of my uh, next videos as they come out, get notifications. Uh, other than that, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.